Look, what has the scuba diver found? A chest. I wonder what's inside. Maybe ancient gold coins. That's Dietrich Brandes's chest. The first Inspector General of Forests of India, also commonly known as the father of tropical forestry. Look, his name is engraved on the chest. This is the chest he lost when the boat carrying it drowned on its way from Calcutta to Rangoon. It contains his herbarium and botany books. Actually, it was a turning point in his life as it made him change his focus from botany to forestry. Dietrich Brandes was born in Bonn, Germany and worked as a lecturer of botany. He joined the British service in 1856 as the superintendent of the teak forests in eastern Burma. During the British rule in India, due to the demand for trees for railways and other requirements of timber by the British, Indian forests were getting depleted. The British were particularly worried about the use of forest produce by the local people and the unregulated felling of trees by traders. To conserve the forests, by 1864, the British felt the need of an organized forest department for the complete administration of the forests in India. They invited Dietrich Brandes for advice and to organize the administration of the forests in India. He was appointed the first Inspector General of Forests in India. Brandes formulated new forest rules and helped establish research and training institutions. He set up the Indian Forest Service in 1864 and helped formulate the Indian Forest Act of 1865. To help spread the study of forestry, Brandes founded the Imperial Forest Research Institute at Dehradun in 1906. He introduced and started the practice of scientific forestry or commercial forestry in India. Let's understand what scientific forestry means and how it was practiced. Scientific forestry is the practice of cutting down all the trees in a forest and replacing them with one single species of tree that is planted in straight rows. This planting of one type of tree in straight rows is also known as a plantation. The Indian Forest Act was enacted in 1865 and was amended twice in 1878 and 1927. The Forest Act Amendment of 1878 provided for the division of forests into three categories. Reserved forests were forests completely under reservation or the protection of the government. Protected forests were forests under partial protection of the government. Village forests were forests whose land rights were assigned by the government to a village community for its use. The enactment of the Forest Act completely changed the face of Indian forests and the lives of several people. It also became Dietrich Brandes's most significant contribution to Indian forestry.